I was once asked by a high school student during one of our rare book workshops, how much is this book worth? I put the book on his table and responded, here, gently turn a few of the pages. He did. I then responded, if you could see the look on your face right now, that would be my answer. Books often outlast their authors, but they also outlast the many places in which they reside, especially when their caretakers are compelled to flee these places repeatedly and frequently. Just after the Holocaust, 500,000 books looted from libraries across Europe ended up in the Offenbach Archival Depot in the American sector of Germany. The attempt to repatriate these books to their original homes met with some success, but of those 500,000, 80,000 were orphaned. The Jewish Cultural Reconstruction Organization distributed these books to libraries and communities where Jewish populations had resettled. Of these, 2,000 came to Canada, and of these, about 1,500 were brought to the Jewish Public Library to join an existing collection of 300 that had been collected by the JPL's founders in 1915. This became the rare book collection of the Jewish Public Library. The collection not only maps Jewish print culture, but is a microcosm of medieval and early modern history along the trajectory of religious and secular human discourse. The Jewish canon, the Torah, the Midrash, the Gemara, the Zohar, the oldest book in the collection from 1481, the Jewish Antiquities of Josephus, printed 30 years after Gutenberg's printing press, books censored by the church, books written by medieval Kabbalists on transmigration, the earliest Bible printed in very bad Yiddish, early Hebrew grammars, Talmudic concordances, books on music, geography, and science. Since 2014, these books have been shared by the JPL's librarians through the support of an initiative made possible by a former Montrealer, Dr. Michael Pohl, a physician and professor at Memorial University in Newfoundland. We've taken these books into elementary and high schools, synagogues, churches, senior centers, and other libraries, and shared the narratives behind the production of these works, the stories of their authors, the often bizarre and fascinating sagas of their printing, and sometimes unexpected connections to the JPL itself. What are these books worth, if you could only see the looks on your faces right now?